Welcome back everybody to Steamarama! We're still in the numbers! So this is Seven Wonders 2. Get a bonus number on this one. Apparently there have been seven other wonders that I don't own. I have played this at some point, I must admit. I don't remember doing that. Sometimes I pick up these games and I just kind of faff about with them for a few evenings. Because often there isn't a lot of gameplay going on, so let's see what this was about. Obviously it's a sort of Egyptian thing going on. Every everything's very shiny. It's very shiny and golden, and glowy and lovely. So let's play. Enter my name. You know, probably cope with that. Providing you don't have a name of over 10 characters, of course. Forgotten cities. Hidden treasures. Lavish monuments to gods. Love and greed. You are about to embark on a journey to mystic places that few have ever seen. The seven wonders of the forgotten world. Your quest begins at the foot of Stonehenge and continues through sacred temples, architectural masterpieces and forgotten cities. Only the most skilled and determined voyager will survive to see the worldwide journeys end. Wait, what? I can die in this? <laughs> Ooh, bring it on. Along the way, you'll see priceless artefacts, ancient relics and architectural feats that the modern world has yet to surpass. A maze of age-old secrets and unanswered questions awaits you. Let the journey begin. Is anybody else like really excited? God, there's all sorts of slightly strange cultural things going on around this message. Anyway, let's continue. We are flying to Stonehenge, the subject of speculation for centuries. A circular megalith monument remains an enigma. Built in three faces, the first Stonehenge was a large... Can I just stop for a moment and say that this feels like there's some... somebody's decided to cram some education into this? I'm not here to learn about Stonehenge, am I? I'm here to steal some ancient relics or something anyway. Okay then, I've got my eye on you, professor person, sneakily teaching me things in a game. Let's go to Stonehenge. Right, I've got some dudes. Not quite sure what this dude is doing, but anyway, this is clearly a match three game. So let's match some threes. No, that's not what I mean. What if I do that? Yep, that that's good. That's a good start. Oh, I've got there's more dudes. There's more. What if I do that? Because that's quite a big match. What's this? There's no like there was no no instructions. There's no I don't like I don't know what that does. Okay, fine. I'll just keep matching. And get a five there. Oh god, I've got two of them now. Oh, a new piece of hidden map is found by collecting all pieces of the map. You open a path to the secret wonder. Okay, well I've got, there's a four there. And there's a four there. And there's a four there. Oh, oh. Strong, de strong dear. This rune can rock the henge. Get more when you use it in a match. Okay. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be getting rid of all of the little stone tiles. I see some of them have got a little stone background. What if I try and swap those? <gasps> Massive explosions. Awesome, that's good. That's freed that up there. If I do... Oh, I can't do that. Yes, I can. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so the dudes... I see, right. As I get the stone bits, the dudes are carrying them away into a hut. For no apparent reason. Excellent. So I've got a couple more left here by the looks of things. Um, I'll just do that because it's fun. Oh, look at that. Oh, did that take some random stuff away? I think that might be my last one. Everything's blowing up. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so I've constructed one of 19... 19? One of 19. Gonna be here a while then. To build the wonder, drag the building blocks from the right side of the screen and drop them onto the highlighted squares. Put all, put all. Did I put it somewhere? Oh, there, has that, has that built now? That looks, that looks built. I don't know what these are. Oh, X power. Generates a powerful electric charge. I'm assuming then that I get those 
as I fill this in. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That should be the end of this video. I get it. That doesn't happen very often. So this is going to be a lot of matching. So the more I match, the more dudes come out by the looks of things. I'm not fully sure why they're taking everything into the hut. That's just a bit... that's a bit weird. Unless the hut has a door out the back as well. They're just walking straight through it. Right, let's do that and get myself a thingy. create a fort. Ooh, I found a piece of map. Is that a piece of map to the next place? I don't know. But anyway, that did you notice then that that did not go right across? So they don't go right across if there's a gap. They end in that particular section. Okay. That automatically makes things a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Ah, there's a piece of sculpture coming down. Are they waiting to catch the piece of sculpture? At the moment, they're working very hard, the little people. They're working very hard to clear up my mess. Um, bring that down there, put that one there. I have no strategy in these games. I just keep matching things until there's nothing left to match. Which actually, in this, could be a bit of a problem. Right, get rid of that. So that's cleared all of that side, I think. So over here... I need some yellows or something. Oh, I can't... I can't move that. It won't go. It will not go. Okay, well... In that case, I'll just keep matching down here until I get one of those. And I can do that. Right, I still can't... I can't match that one, so... Uh, let's let's do that. What happens to the to the big one? It nearly flattens somebody. Oh, he's having to push that off the track. There we go. And then what's going to happen to it? Nothing. Everybody's ignoring it. Oh, hang on. No, they've all carried it off. They've all carried it off. <laughs> That's brilliant. Love it. What if I smack this into that? Does it just create a big chain reaction. Yes. Okay. I get it. And I do remember playing it now. I don't honestly know how far I would have got with it. Oh, great job though. Great job. Got a star. So Stonehenge is starting to take shape. This is going to take forever. Right, it's all moved again. So... Let's start making some things. Oh, I've got I've got two of these. If I put them together, does anything no? Oh, I thought something really exciting was gonna happen, but it didn't. That's disappointing. Okay, let's take all of those out. And I've found my bit of map. There is something I don't fully get because now I, I'm hearing it all the time because it hasn't changed is why is it that the music sounds a bit Egyptian and uh oh <gasps> what? What, what, what what what's going on here what's going it what oh 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 it doesn't like other windows popping things up I had a moment then I thought all my effort had gone to waste but actually it's another one of those really annoying games where if you take the focus off the window, it just breaks. Right, so let's do that. And I can come up here and do that. Anyway, I was speculating, why is the music Egyptian when we're in Stonehenge? I think it's a fair question. Right, my bit of Stonehenge has appeared here. Or whatever that's supposed to be. And in one move, I have thumped it down. Get in. So it's just down here then, is this... In this corner, I think. So, let's do that. As if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that wasn't deliberate, but it was excellent.
Okay, but only 16% constructed. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that Stonehenge was a lot of work and everything, but what worries me is the fact that it looks like it might be on, it looks like it might be on fire. Is that actually people working on it? Unfortunately, it's another one of these games I'm having to play in like 480p, so I can't quite see, but it looks like it's on fire. Okay, has everything moved a bit? That looks like the same as last time. Bow. That's it, I can make a five out of that, and then go kabow! That's quite satisfying. Let's do these, let's do that, and that will do itself, and then let's do that, and that, and then this one will take out those. I've got the hang of this. Famous last words. It'll throw something in in a minute, go surprise! There's another game mechanic that we haven't told you about yet. Nope. Something just went thring. I don't know what it was. Right, so that one just takes away random stuff. I keep trying to match those orange ones and they're not orange ones. They're fire! Right, that gets me a five. So the, the the bit is here. Meanwhile, I'm matching all the things. The bit is here, and I need to get it down. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to do that. Yeah, so it doesn't. The, the fireballs don't go past that. I'll just do this, see whether it randomly takes anything away. Yep, it has. Oh, there's a man standing underneath it. No, he's fine. Phew. Phew. Thought I was going to be responsible for killing somebody then. That would have been terrible. So I got two bits out of that. Just put them in. And that was the X gem thingy, wasn't it? Oh, we've got a bonus select menu. X power. Generates a powerful electric charge and breaks squares in an X-shaped pattern. Wicked. So it's there. Extra bonus charging bar. Extra bonus. Okay, let's get rid of some of this. Ooh, there's my bit of map. Love a bit of map. Right, let's get that across there so that it breaks across to the other side. Let's create a four out of that and a four out of that. That's useless, actually. Let's get rid of that one. We can use this one. Let's get those. Blah, 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 blah. I'm assuming they couldn't afford any more music. I hope it changes when we change venues, because otherwise... Ugh. Is the word that I'm looking for. Okay, let's use that to get rid of those. Oh, look, shiny. Shiny extra bonus charging tier. Chow! Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm getting all these four things again and again and again. Have we charged? Is it charged again? So has. Oh, I see. So it goes in a diagonal. Hey, that's quite useful. That is quite useful. Right, there's the bit of stone. So. What am I going to do with that? I don't know. I'm going to break some things. Right, let's do that. Then I've got another square up here. I've got so many bonuses now that the whole board's just going to fall apart. There we go. Nobody stand underneath the rock. So, actually, down here, I've got one more down here that I didn't notice. But that's okay, because I can do that and I can get rid of it. Excellent. Also, I'm glad that I'm nowhere near running out of time or anything, so that's good. Right, I got three. I got three bits. I have found the full shuffle bar. And Stonehenge is only partly on fire. 
I just want to get to the end of this to see what happens. Right, so I can do that. Do that. And 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 also that. I think that's my favourite one at the moment. That's the most satisfying, I would say. You see, I expect it to go in the other direction. If you get a left-right one crashing into another left-right one, personally, I think that should create an up-down one. But what do I know? I don't make these games. Okay, I'm going to use my zappy thing to get rid of that corner. Chow! And then all I've got left is over here, and there's the the bit. I do get the impression that I could be wrong, that this is sort of set up. So I'm not sure this is totally random, I think that it kind of gives you what you need. Because not all of these sorts of games do that and it will end up a bit of a mess. Can I use my crossy thing to get that one further down? Yes I can. Then get a five out of that and then I can do that. And I can splat the little people. That was, there we go, I'm getting quicker. That was a good one. That was a good one. Still only got me one bit of Stonehenge though, didn't it? Bloody hell. Right, okay, so. This might be a little bit more difficult because it is thinner in places and these things won't go over here so we won't be able to make as many matches but I'm sure it will be fine. Four there, so I can do that. Nice. Make four here. Nice. Excellent. That's right. Then the random ones are going to be quite useful, I think. On the basis that there might be bits of this that I can't get at that easily. Do the bottom one like that. Oh, there's my there's my bit of stone as well. So. We can certainly get that out with a big thump. And then there's a bit up here. Oh, there's a bit down here as well. So if I do that, that gets rid of that bit. And then... See, you do that. You do that. that should go up and down as well, developers of this ancient game. Right. There we go. I've properly caught on to this now. How many bits did I get? Two. Actually, were all the little people dancing? I didn't notice, but I think I think all the little people were dancing. That'd give me some extra points. Actually, my gem thing here as well is still operational. That's interesting. They go from level to level rather than having to redo it all again. That's good. Tra! Let's do one of that. Let's do that. That's my. I just love that. I love it. Fire! Right, so we got rid of that. We got rid of that. Where's my bit? Oh, it's at the top. Okay. Let's get it a bit closer to the bottom. And then. Let's use my random thing to get it even further down. And then I'll use my electricity thing to get it onto the uh, the red. That's quite neat, actually, in some ways, that all the little bits just fall on the floor, but the big bit is on a sort of track thing so they can push it along. That's very thoughtful, looking after your slave labourers. Right, I'm going to use this again. Chapow! There's all sorts of stuff going on. Right, I've lost the plot here. What am I doing? Creating big explosions as usual. Oh, I didn't take that bottom one out. I think that's the only one I have left, isn't it? Boo. 
Or well, maybe the random things are genuinely random. Look how many power-ups. And none of them are helping me. Damn you! When you get extra points, I don't know whether that makes any difference. Like, do you get a certain... Do you get power-ups per level of points? Does my bonus menu appear if I've got loads of points? I haven't found a bit of map in a while, have I? It's also night time! It's actually gone to night time! Well, I wasn't expecting that. It was the moon, look. Do we make them work nights as well? I bet they don't get any extra pay for that. <clears throat> Can't afford it. Right, so let's try and whiz through this. Notice that none of the dudes are women. Also, there's not many. <laughs> there's not much diversity in my dudes either. It's a game from another time. Don't write him. Right, so let's make four there. Let's do up here. Has my bit appeared yet? Does my bit come out the hole? remember. Right, let's get rid of all of that. Oh no, there it is. It's there. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's get rid of you. And then... I'm just, just going to start getting random, because it always does. I can make a four out of that, which is good, because I can get rid of this one underneath here. Bring that down. Da, 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 do Blow everything up. Yeah. Love a bit of blowing up. Use my randomer and hope that it yes. Say so hope that it does that, which it does. Got two bits for that. I can't be far off now, can I? I think this is people working. It's just where from where where I'm sitting it honestly looks like fire. I'm always imagining the worst. Anyway, the sun's come back up, and I've got my zappy thing. Zappy thing! Yeah. Create a four, do that. That's actually turning into my new favorite. That creates a bit more destruction. Right, what we got now? What we got now? Uh, what we got is problems. So if we do that there, and that there, and that lets me get rid of those. As soon as this becomes actual working out the puzzle, I'm screwed. Because <laughs> I just like blowing things up. I just like matching. I pop that there. That gets rid of a couple more. And then... Yeah. Right, there's my bit. So, let's start bringing it on down. And then I've still got a tiny bit to get rid of up here as well. Which I should be able to do by doing that. <gasps> I have found the last bit of map! Secret challenge level! Oh, 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 we're going now! Oh, right, okay. One movement's left. Get a piece of the hidden map to the bottom of the board in a limited amount of moves. One movement. This is going to be slightly embarrassing if I don't know what the one movement is. Is it that? Of course it is. Dun, dun, dun. Can I go back to what I was doing now? Oh, no. No, we're on, oh, we're on a map. Rapper Nui, which has a big holy rock. Unless that's like a massive piece of meat. And on the bonus screen... I have a new special power, which is the score multiplier. Can I go back to what I was doing now? <laughs> that was a lovely little distraction, but like I've lost my thread. There wasn't much left to do anyway. There we go. Excellent. The moon's coming up again. That's a very quick moon. I only got one of two. That's interesting that I only got one of two. Is that because there was only one required? 
Maybe. Anyway, I've done it. I've done Stonehenge, have I not? Oh, I haven't done Stonehenge. Now I've done Stonehenge. Whoa! Musical horns and a deer thing. I like the deer thing. Can I have that made up as a pendant? Oh, check out my vehicle. Where are we going? Where are we going? The Colosseum. With a base of six acres and a 50,000 seating capacity, the 12-storey Colosseum in Rome remains among the world's greatest architectural achievements. Construction spanned a decade, and a lavish 100-day celebration marked its inauguration in 80 AD. The Colosseum's large elliptical arena was host to the Roman... Hang on a minute, we're learning things again, aren't we? We're, lear we're learning things again. That's not why I'm here. Okay, so there's the Colosseum, and we've got the sa same arrangement, we've got the same dudes. And there's a guy up here who appears to be ordering the dudes around. It looks like he's got some food. Is that me, do you think? <laughs> Standing with all the food and ordering people around. Some of my pieces look a little bit different. Has the music changed? Maybe a little bit. It sounds like it's trying to be all things all at once. I assume this is just going to be... Oh, Great Caesar. This rune helps you take centre stage at the Colosseum. Get more when you use it in a match. Get more. All right, then I will. I think, yeah, I feel like the music is trying to be all the ancient things at once. So it is a little bit different, but it's not like really, really different. Right, there we go. I've got my map bit. Where, wherever we're going next, whenever I can escape from here. But I assume this is all going to be kind of rough, roughly, roughly the same. I, I hate to say this, but other than the educational bits, I suspect we've probably got the measure of this already. It is the sort of game that one evening I'd go, oh, what's that? And the next thing I know, I've completed 28 levels of it. Oh, check out that randomizer. Ooh. Glorious. Right, zappy thing. Wicked. Dread to think how much of this there is. Is there loads? I have found permanent timer freeze for the next sub level, and this is clock stopper freezes the time bar for 20 seconds. I've not actually had any problems with the time. Am I going to start having problems with the time? What's this on my time bar? Okay. Am I going to have to. Like, be really, really, really quick. Or has it actually... Fro is it frozen? Is that, fro is that supposed to be frozen? I'm not really sure what's going on there. Has it already frozen my time? Because it gives me an extra 20 seconds of time from the very beginning, rather than me having to activate it. Has 20 seconds gone yet? Let's get rid of that. Come over here. Is that going down? No. Is that going down now? I can't know. Is this supposed to be frozen? I'm not really sure what's going on there. In any event, I am bossing this one, so it doesn't matter. some more random things or explosive things. Well, of course, I've got my zappy thing, haven't I? Let's use the zappy thing to do that. Let me get rid of that one. And then I kind of need like a blue one down here, which I can do using that. And then we do that. And blah, blah, blah. Excellent. Got three bits for that. Is that just because I'm really good? Do you get three bit? Oh, hang on. I didn't mean to. Oh, no. I didn't put all. <gasps> what if I lose all? No. I'm not working on this Colosseum any harder than I have to, you know. Dude, if I go really, 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 really quickly, 
And just as I say that, I suddenly can't go quickly anymore. Do I get extra bits and and complete it quicker? Because that would be good. Uh, where's my bit? My bit's there. Can somebody make a Jenny Match 3 game with these sound effects in it? Can they just make a Jenny game? That'd be amazing. Me and Mr. Bill Wolf, if anybody um, was friends with him, sadly no longer with us, were doing a Jenny Choose Your Own Adventure text game, which sadly has long since disappeared into the winds. Right, I can actually stack them all up. I can stack them up. But if I, if I stack them up, I don't get my bonus things. Oh, the Colosseum's got little flags. <gasps> Look, got another bonus. Clock stopper, score multiplier, and X power. So do I get to choose which one? Or do I get them all? Or do I have to earn them? I'm actually not completely sure on that. But anyway, I'm suddenly acutely aware of the time bar. I'm going to let off all my power-ups because, you know... Why wouldn't you? Bring! Bow! I'm just matching fairly randomly now. Because I can. There's my bit. use the thring to do that which causes a great big thingamajig and is there still something not done I thought I'd done it drat drat oh no okay I'll carry on then what have I not done oh there I've missed one I've missed one now I have not missed one. Still excellent. It's a shame that couldn't have been in a different language. I have no idea what that noise is, by the way. I think we might be doing some actual construction work outside. What the hell was that? I don't know. Anyway. I don't even know if you could hear it, but it went something like... <laughs> Maybe the surprise twist in this game is that while you're doing construction work on screen, some men have turned up at your house and have bricked you into your home. Surprise! No, seriously, what is that? Excuse, excuse me a moment, I'm just going to take my headphones off. Okay, there's somebody with a going... <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's quite annoying when you're trying to film things. Anyway... It's in keeping, at least, with the game. If you hear any construction sounds, I can just say, Oh yes, I planned that. There were going to be real-life construction sounds in this one. Because that would be really clever. <laughs> I don't know whether it's coming from outside or upstairs, because upstairs has had some work going on for about the 50th time. Every lockdown, he does some more work. And every lockdown, I want to kill him. But anyway... I don't even know to need to do sound effects anymore, do I? I can just let real life provide the sound effects. Okay, so I've got one down here, got a couple up here. Got a couple less up there. Then there's the there's the thing. I can deal with the thing. There we go. And we can get rid of that one, so that just leaves this, and I can use my zappy thing to get rid of that. Yeah, I reckon that the quicker you do it, maybe. The more pieces it gives you. I mean, it implies I could have had an extra piece there, doesn't it? They do have a lot of points. They do have a lot of points. Right, put all. 
And that's the Colosseum, kind of two, two thirds built, half built, two thirds built. And I'm assuming it go, just goes on like this. This is the sort of game where you could realise that you've spent 10 hours just randomly matching stuff. Ow! That noise is getting louder. Do you think it's a person with a strimmer? That's quite common around here. Leaf blowers, leaf blowers, which are the thing I hate. If you follow me on Twitter, you will know exactly how much I detest leaf blowers and think they should be banned immediately. Leaf blowers are wrong in every way. I don't know whether you can hear that. If you can't, then you'll wonder why on earth I'm making weird noises. That is an exact replica of the noise currently going on around me. Right, there's my block. And I can get that one down really easily. Kapow! And also... Kapow and... Oh, now I'm kapowing all the things. This is great. And I think, look, I've got my maximum that I could get from this. Maybe it's a, just a points thing? Let's random and see if that helps any with, with anything. Yes, it has done. That's good. So, have I just got one more down here? I can imagine this getting quite challenging if you start getting into some really tight corners. That roaring noise is really annoying me. On the plus side, I have found a bit of map. It's that time of year, isn't it, when people have to come out and start um, doing trees and things. It's very close by, though. And in truth, that does sound like it's coming from inside the building. The noise is coming from inside the building. There was a painter and decorator knocking around in the car park earlier. And as I say, upstairs was having some work done on Sunday. Two o'clock on Sunday, he decided to start having a joiner in. That was, that was good. But yeah, that's quite loud. I'm, um, unfortunately, although the construction noises are very in keeping with the game, that's also super distracting. So I think we've probably got the measure of this. We've got the, the bonus hole there, we've got the buildings, we get extra points, we get, we get stuff, it's all good. And we learn something about stuff along the way, which is fun. No, I didn't want to do that. No, 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 I didn't want to carry on. I wanted to, I wanted to go. Please let me exit. There we go. The Colosseum, 71% complete, created by hot lava. Ironically, some things are created by hot lava. Does that say published by Mumbo Jumbo? Do they even exist anymore? Didn't they used to do like online games and stuff? There's the scores, oh my God. I'm ninth, I'm ninth already. Daisy Lane and her Keeper of Forgotten Knowledge badge it appears to be the order of they. What am I, am I? I'm just a scout. Well, I want to be the Keeper of Forgotten Knowledge with the zappy badge. So, be a lot of work, admittedly, but what's this little thing at the bottom? Oh, it's that, sorry, it's that, it's that. It's that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. You can actually go back and have a look at what you've done as well. So the next one is a mystery. Well, there we go. A little diversion. A little diversion, I think, more than anything. But I'm getting really diverted now by that racket. So, sorry about that. But as I say, I think we've kind of got the measure of this now. That was uh, Seven Wonders 2. I am quite interested to know what Seven Wonders, wo Wonders 1. That's easy for me to say. Seven Wonders 1 was about. But it was online or something. It was one of those flash games that you can't play anymore. R.I.P. Flash. Right, I'm going because that's really annoying me. I uh, hope you'll join me for the next episode when hopefully it will be less about construction.